does, but I got followers. <laughs> Come on, you got to laugh. That was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of curious on how, why it didn't let me, like, it, it, it didn't give me the option. Like, when I clicked on your name, it only gave me the option to send you, like, a comment. I couldn't invite you up. Oh, okay. So, I was reading, I mean, so, so you guys are saying, I mean, I, I know a lot of people say different things. And on what the Bible says, baptism. So I was seeing, I mean, I mean, I've been baptized. I was baptized when I was a kid, and then I was baptized as an adult. But I know what it means to be baptized. And I love the Lord. I mean, so so hey, to be saved. So, so have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you said you've been baptized as a kid and as an adult. Let me ask you a question about that. So whenever mm -hmm. Mormons believe in Jesus and they believe Jesus, uh, they believe in, of course, do you, believe, do you think that Mormons believe in the correct Jesus? Well, let's just, actually, I'm sorry. Let, no. me, change, let me change it to the Jehovah Witnesses. Okay, so when, when the Jehovah Witnesses believe in Jesus, is that is that okay? What do you, what do you mean, is it okay when they believe I mean, in Jesus? Are they believing in the right Jesus is what I'm getting at. Is it are, Since they believed in Jesus, are they okay? No, the devil believes in Jesus. Okay. So, when you, well, when you said you were baptized, there's actually some teaching that goes on in the New Testament before people were baptized. So, what? let me ask you, what mode was you baptized and what was you baptized for? Well, as a believer, I mean, to be a new creation, a new believer in Christ, um, be born again. I mean, you know, baptized in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I mean, for baptized is a new creation in Christ, believing mm -hmm. in Him. I mean, that's what I believe. Would you I mean, immerse uh, or sprinkled? What, what do you mean, immerse or sprinkled? What do you mean? Okay. You ever, like, eat Oreo cookies and milk? Do you sprinkle the milk on it, or do you immerse I, it? I don't. I, I don't. I don't eat Oreo cookies. I haven't in a long time, so I don't. You gotta you use a better phrase. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you mean. I mean, are you testing me on my faith? I don't love. I mean, I don't understand what you're getting at. I don't, I don't understand. You don't know what sprinkling means versus immersion? Immersion? No, no. I don't know what immersion means. Okay. Immersion. Were you, what about submersion? Maybe I'm saying it in a different southern accent. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Submersion. I don't know. Okay, what about dip? dip? I'm sorry? Was you dipped or was you sprinkled? I, I, I don't know what you, I don't know what that means, dipped or, or sprinkled. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Can you just get to the point? I mean, I don't know. I mean, okay. can, you make, can you break it down better than that? Yeah, okay. Was you... Did they sprinkle water on your head like it's sprinkling out? Oh, no, no, no. They put me all on the water. Okay. Put me all on the water. And then, there we yeah. go. Yeah, that's what I mean, my friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's what you should have said. <laughs> you easy, know your cookies. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was baptized. Yeah, in the water. You know, but okay. I did it twice with my family. So was you saved before you were baptized or after? I was saved before I was baptized. Okay, that, see, yeah, that's what I, I knew. Yeah, I was saved. I believe in Jesus. I died for my sins but since I was little, since I was a kid. Matter of fact, my mom dedicated us to the church as my father. And I believe, I, I mean, I believe that the Lord has had me in the palm of his hand since I was born because my grandmother was a believer in Christ. And I believe she prayed for us, and she prayed, you know, and he broke that chain, and, you know. Yeah, I, I, I left, but I've always let me believed ask you this. in Christ. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do you see up on the screen where it says uh, to repent and be baptized? Can you read that? Yeah, yeah. You see that? So, 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 you, so somebody who's not baptized is not saved if they were to pass away, right? Well, let me, let me read this. It says... And in Acts chapter 2, they, it says, They heard this, and they were cut to the heart. That's sincere Peter, I mean, sincere pe uh, people. And Peter uh -huh. said unto the rest of the apostles, 
I mean, Peter said, and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, repent and every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And then the people said, what about if people are on their deathbed and they're not baptized, Peter? Are they going to have their sins forgiven? Uh -huh. See, the difference is these. some of these people said what you said, like they didn't want to obey. But some of them, as you keep reading, it says that they gladly received the word. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so. Pays for all sins. It's not what we do. There's not one man righteous, not even dipping you in water. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Baptism is, is great. I had to let him go. He don't care about what Peter says. That's what I'm saying. You can't help people like that. He's a nice guy. Probably takes care of his family. Nice neighbor and everything. But he don't really care about the Bible, so I can't help him. He was he was talking back, though. He was talking back, but it was pointless. He don't care about the Bible. Like, if people don't... Like, if you get on here and you don't really care what the Bible teaches, I don't have time to waste. You know what I'm saying? If, like, people don't care about the Bible, you can't teach them. Would you agree? Uh, I guess you got to take your time. Yeah, and how am I going to take my time on TikTok? So this is what I do. This is, uh, this is I'm, I'm just showing this is how I take my time. I plant the seed, mm -hmm. and the seed is the Word of God. So he read it, and he made up excuses. Then I tell people to go to my YouTube channel, and they can subscribe, and they can call me on my live show. And that way we can continue to plant the seed and let the seed grow. But if it's on like, you ever heard of red clay mud? No. You must not be from the South then. <laughs> no. Well, where are you from? Well, I'm from Tennessee, but red clay mud is just basically it's a type of soil that nothing grows. It's just worthless. Mm. You know? And so there's different people out there. So sometimes some people you just got to, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, not just continuing to argue with people. There comes a time, and you're right, there is a time that we have to be patient, you know. Yeah, I agree. But it's kind of hard. And then plus you came on, so I'm getting ready to run on the treadmill, and I thought, well, you want to talk, so I brought you up. I just got the last point of the what y'all were talking about. So what was what was the whole deal? Okay. And that's another thing I hate TikTok for. It's kind of like, you ever seen, <laughs> you ever seen these street preachers? Mm hmm And they're out there on the corner, and these cars are driving by, and they're saying, repent! Repent! Yeah. And there goes another car, and it's like, repent of what? And believe in who? And they're just getting little... Yeah, things. yeah. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not about that. Yeah. Like this person here, he says, his YouTube show is hilarious. Well, he can join it as well. He can call in. He might be one of the ones that... <laughs> can't answer or can't have a civil discussion mm -hmm. but yeah that's someone in the chat you know because you 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 catch a lot of mockers when you put yourself out there on the platform mm -hmm. they come on hey why is my why is my youtube show hilarious because what you teach when anybody else agrees with you you cut them off on my youtube show have you watched it yeah i have it's hilarious you asked me to call in one time and you didn't take my call because you didn't want to have a civil conversation. Don't come on your line. Everybody, everybody calls in. I answer their call. So what is this about? Like you have to be water baptized in order to be saved, or or what's going on? Yeah, I have to. I, I can't talk to two people because it's going to be crazy. And uh, that guy, sir, the uh, the one that. That talks about how you called him my show or something. Yeah, you can go ahead and answer his question. I'll be I'll be on mute while you uh while you no, answer his questions. I just I just want to briefly establish since you've actually can you send me a screenshot of you calling my show and then I'll put it on my YouTube and everybody can see where I didn't answer it. Of course, if you want a screenshot of me calling your your uh, YouTube channel, sure I'll send you one from my phone. <laughs> Are you laughing like you're not going to, or you will? And no, I don't know why you want to pull on your show. Every time I've had to try to have a conversation with you, the moment I disagree with you or pull something out of the scriptures that you're using, 
for interpretation, you always just end it and cut it out. Okay, so so you made a statement, and my show is called Truth with Proof, and all I'm trying to do is mm-hmm. prove to everybody that that either I missed your call or you're lying. It's only one of the two. Either I missed it and I sincerely missed it, or you're just a liar. And that's why I'm asking for proof. And then again, I'm telling you, you cut people off just like you cut. Just like I cut him off there. So he don't want to prove. That's what I'm saying, sir. You catch a lot of people like that. And all he has to do is take a screenshot, send it, and I'll openly put it out there for everybody. But see, if he's going to lie over something small, he's going to keep lying like he is now. You just can't help some people. So, uh, yeah, we can discuss baptism. Okay. So what, was it bad of me to ask him to show something? Like, if I made a statement about somebody... And well, I mean, said, it's like if I call you and you didn't answer, I'm not going to take the time to screenshot and all that, right? I'm not trying to defend him or you. I'm just saying, uh, like, if I try to call you and, oh, let me screenshot it, like, it's not my thing, right? So I might not have proof that you never answered me, right? Let's just say that I did call you and you didn't answer. Like, I wouldn't think about screenshotting it right so do we have to prove things like when people, no i'm just saying there might have been a you know you probably just missed it it was an accident or whatever you probably didn't mean not to answer right it could have been uh, honest you know coming from you or whatever he probably had bad signal but it doesn't make him a liar right because he didn't have a screenshot but but what about if he did lie would it make him a liar if he just i mean if he lied of course right but okay we don't know though but why don't we know? Because there's no proof. But if we had proof, would we know? Yeah, but like I said, if you didn't answer me right now, why would I take a screenshot? It's just like you were busy. You didn't answer. No big deal. But you can still prove it. Yeah, but it's not a... I mean, I'm not trying to put anybody on blast for not answering either. It's just like you didn't answer, you didn't answer. It wasn't a big deal. You're not a, you're not a cop, are you? You're not a private. You're not a detective or nothing. You... If you was, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be very good at it. Have you ever played Clue? No. You've never heard the board game Clue? No. You ain't heard of Red Mud, Clay. <laughs> I'm from Clay. Texas. You're from Tennessee. <laughs> we don't got Red Mud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on to the conversation then. Since you did laugh, you got a little sense of humor, but I know you don't want to take up for me because you're on here disagreeing with me. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. He just keeps talking negative about me, so I'm just going to mute it. <laughs> a lot of people do that. They attack the person. But anyways, uh, what Bible verse would you like to talk about? Uh, the one you were discussing with them? Okay, let me bring it up. Uh, Acts 2.38? Yeah. Do you know who said that? Uh, 